Radio Raheem stateside once again with Eddie Hearn. When you look at it, Dillian White for me has done everything he needs to do to get a shot at that title. We have a pending situation with the WBC who are ruling on his mandatory position. He will box in July anyway, but we want him to be mandatory for the WBC title. Now obviously I've got the two hats on where I want to make the Joshua Wilder fight. I also want to deliver Dillian White a shot at the world title. So. There may be a situation, and that's the situation that's been pushed by Team White and also me, to say he should be mandatory for Deontay Wilder with no intervening bouts because of everything that's happened in the past. But obviously, we also want to see the undisputed fight. But then Usyk is mandatory to Joshua later on this year. But then, So there's so many things that could happen, but Dillian White is right in there. And I know it's a frustrating time for him, but he's okay. You know, he's a top name, he will get his opportunity. We had the, the Joshua negotiations. He was made a three, three different offers, which he felt weren't enough. And the reason that he felt they weren't enough, I feel the last one was enough, I have to be honest. But not if you believe in yourself the way that Dillian does. And what I mean by that is if you're positioning yourself as one of the top four, if you like, or top five, Maybe the offer wasn't enough, but he's saying, I'm backing myself to be there, to be a Fury, to be a Joshua. So I'm going to say, thank you very much, but no, I'm worth more than that. And I'm going to back myself that one day you'll pay me a lot more money than that for that fight, which I admire in a way. But it's also the pressure's on me because I want to deliver him a world title fight because he deserves it. So July is next and hopefully becomes mandatory for the WBC. Thank you, Eddie, for the time. Cheers. Radio Raheem with Eddie Hearn.